As the regular season comes to an end, there has been multiple key players for the Winona State Warriors in their 9-1 record. The defense has been exceptionally strong this year, and a lot of that goes to Andrew Spencer. You know, he's always been, like I said, a playmaker for us. And uh, now that he just understands where he's supposed to be, can get other people in position, um, I think when we have to play, like last year when Cam Gavin, a younger player, had to play back there, I think there's a comfort knowing that the guy on the other side of the field knows what he's doing and was able to help ease him into position and be able to make the calls and do the kind of things that, that, um, that we need him to do. I think he's, he's learned the game. He used to just play it, you know, now he's learned it and he understands it. It's slowed down. Um, he's got to the point where it's, it's not just about going out and running around and playing, but you got to play with a purpose and an understanding. And once he did that, um, then his natural ability is even better because he shows up in more plays um, and really is much more, you know, disruptive to offenses um, over especially the last couple of years. But according to Spencer, the dominance in the defense is a team effort. It's basically just a bunch of guys uh, loving to play football, play football game and just flying around and enjoying every second. So our dominance really comes from just uh, our character and how we take the, uh, I mean, approach the game and we're just a bunch of, uh, bunch of crazy men, put it like that. It's just excited to play football and get some turnovers. And get some turnovers, they do. According to coach and teammates, Spencer is one player you want on a team. Yeah, I think that Andrew is one of those guys that everybody looks up to um, because he's one just flashy, talented, he's out there, he's loud, he's proud, he's, he's obnoxious sometimes. Uh, but all of that is good um, to a team because he brings the energy uh, from our guys and uh, or to our guys and that's 24-7, that's who Andrew is. Uh, it means a lot. It means I, uh, I did my job off the field as a, uh, as a person and as a, as a teammate and um, it, carries, it goes a long way with uh, me playing on the field because I know these guys trust me and uh, I get to do, I, I make mistakes and everyone makes mistakes, but um, they allow me to do what I do without, you know, very high consequence. They, they kind of know what I'm trying to do is uh, beneficial to the team. So when I can always rely back on these guys having my back and pick me up when things are down, it's, uh, it's a pretty amazing feeling. Even though it's his last season, he will never be forgotten. No, he's been an electric player for us. I think he's someone that people like to come and watch, and um, he's a key to kind of making what we do on defense go. No, we're going to miss him dearly. Uh, you know, last last home game with these seniors, uh, led by Andrew and, and and really about 13 other seniors, and it's really going to be difficult to see him walk away because he's that impactful on our football team. And uh, but his legacy will be long lived here. Reporting for HBC TV 25, I'm Alyssa Kozak.